Hi, so this is how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So I came across this video, and I am going to tell black men that uh, they absolutely do not understand some certain things, but some people are actually wishing that uh, most of the policies they gave black men that they are the ones getting it, because tell me the reason why this man is really very sad and mad that Kamala Harris got only policy for black men and that all her campaigns, the only thing she is focusing on is, I mean, like black people, black men and the rest of it. And also, I remember somebody talking about a white woman, talking about how if she becomes a president, that things are going to be hard for them. And also their husband might lose their job and they may have to depend on black men to get a job or do some certain thing, which is a no-no. Like how can they become the minority for no reason? Now, this man is blaming Kamala Harris for some certain things that is not her problem. I really do not understand why it is hard for some people to make research. I mean, it's okay to just type in whatever you have to like, you know, Come on the internet and disgrace yourself about rather than like type it. You are definitely going to find an answer, right? Now you are blaming her for a contract that got nothing to do with the federal government. And then I don't know if some of them are already thinking that that woman is the president or something or like she was the president because they keep complaining that she has been in the office for how many years and she has never done anything for them. Are you guys okay? Let's get into this video. So TMF Apparel Boss here decided to show us that not only are Trump supporters garbage, but they are allergic to research. And they live at the intersectionality of their racism and bigotry colliding with their misogyny when it comes to Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, internet line workers went on strike because they were not being paid by the company they contracted with. Understand, the workers in question were contracted by Next Era Communications, and Next Era Communications told News 13 that it is contracted by MassTech, who is contracting Spectrum. Got all that? Nowhere in these company contracts do you see the federal government, right? So let's listen to what TMF Apparel boss <laughs> had to say. And who is he blaming for the workers not being paid? Wouldn't it be nice if the vice president, who's currently campaigning for president in seven days, would do something about this? She goes on every fucking interview and says how she is going to do things for the American people, how she's going to help the American people. Now, I made a video about how she's going to help black people all the time, which is fine, but what about helping the people right now? Did he talk about Next Era, the contractor, paying these workers or doing something about the situation? No. Did he talk about Mass Tech? The company that contracted New Era Communications doing something about paying these workers. No. Did he say anything about holding Spectrum accountable for getting these workers paid in a timely manner since they contracted Mass Tech who contracted New Era Communications? Nope, he didn't. And despite the fact that none of these situations fall under the auspice of the federal government, did he mention the sitting president, Joe Biden, perhaps solving these problems? Of course he didn't. I wonder why. Well, you're literally in fucking office. Instead of doing your goddamn job, you're driving around all over the fucking country telling people... See, that's what I'm talking about disingenuous garbage because like i said this is a copy of the constitution of the united states that outlines the job of the vice president and nothing he mentioned is in the job description of the vice president but let's just get to the end of his video where he says what he really wanted to say about kamala harris fucking need help 
They don't want your goddamn excuses. They don't want to know what you plan to do if you get elected. Bitch, you're in office. You are in the fucking job. Do your goddamn job. And there it is. That whole disingenuous video had nothing to do with if the line workers got paid or not. All of that was just a setup for that yogurt yeti to call a black woman a bitch. You all could turn down all the rhetoric you all would like in the face of this garbage. But garbage will still be garbage. And personally, I think it's time that somebody took it to a landfill. Y'all have the day you deserve. All right, here's my video response to this fella, the savage Lokius. Got a lot of subscribers, a lot of followers. Looks like he's out there trying to do something good for his community. But he replied to the comment on my video about the linemen not getting paid. And his response was kind of long. And, you know, he took a lot of time to go back there and put together all his little graphics about, well, the linemen are getting paid through this contractor who subs it out through this other contractor who subs it out through this other contractor. And if I knew the Constitution, I would know that Kamala Harris doesn't do anything to help these people. She's not any, even remotely in charge of this, can't help them. And honestly, after listening to this video, from what it sounds like is that uh, he makes it sound like, well, she actually doesn't do anything at all for the last four years. She's done pretty much absolutely nothing because she has no power. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a nice little look here at what she said in regards to my video. I said Lyman needs to get paid. She needs to step in and fix it. Why? Why does she need to do something about it? Because she's the current d nominee for the Democratic Party which has no power, but she's also the sitting vice president to a president who thinks he's in la-la land. Let's be honest. If anyone thinks Joe Biden's doing anything to help these people, they are dead-ass wrong. But you can see here, his video response to me is, uh, it's here somewhere. There it is, right there. So TMF apparel boss here decided to show us that not only are Trump supporters garbage, but they are allergic to research. So, we are garbage, according to this man, and we are allergic to research, I'm not allergic to shit. You know what I'm allergic to? People just making up shit constantly for their own benefit and applying it as fact. And if we look through some of his, uh, his comments, you'll see there, um, you're not fooling anyone with this rant. The amazing reason why Trump says he loves the poorly educated, it's almost embarrassing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just simply ignorant to the roles of the vice president. These people just press record and start saying the first dumb thing that comes to mind. What's wrong with these people? They love to blame and point their fingers when they don't know what they're talking about. All this stuff. Anyway, who cares, right? No one cares. Here we go. Remarks by Vice President Harris on response to recovery efforts following Hurricane Helene in Augusta, Georgia. This is what she said, right? This is what she said. I'm not making it up. We're not here to point fingers. Although we could say, since we just want to blame everybody else, we could just pull up every Kamala Harris interview where she basically just blames Donald Trump for everything that's ever happened in America. So we do have that. Now, let's look here. I'm so, and uh, we can start over here, blah, blah, blah. She's there to look at the devastation personally. She talked to somebody here who has no water. They have no power. 60% of the residents. There's a bunch of deaths. Uh, this person lost her husband. All of this stuff we already know because, I don't know, the whole city was pretty much obliterated off the map. As it relates to the particular leaders here that are doing that work, including the first responders, most of them as it relates to local folks are folks who have personally, personally and their families have personally experienced loss and devastation. And yet they leave their home, leave their family to go to centers like where I was earlier to the work of helping perfect strangers. Yeah, because... You came out and said, well, not you, Biden, your administration, came out and said, you need to go do it. Americans just need to get up and go pay for it. That's what the president said. Now, I want to go down here. The president and I have been paying close attention from the beginning to do what we need to do to make sure the federal resources hit the ground as quickly as possible, and that includes what is necessary to make sure that we provided direct federal assistance, direct federal assistance, 
and that work has been happening. Direct federal assistance. The linemen in that video that I quoted, that is just one small piece of a huge clusterfuck that the government isn't paying any attention to anymore. We had news stories on it for four or five days. That was it, right? Kamala Harris, the sitting vice president, is out just putting her fucking face on the sphere. She's going to have her face on the sphere. How much money does it cost to put your face on the sphere? I wonder. I wonder if it's $100, if it's $1,000, if it's $100,000, if it's a million dollars. How much does that cost? She is out there laughing it up, doing interviews, instead of doing anything to help anybody. She's not helping a single person. And you want to sit here and tell us that, oh, well, she can't do anything until she gets elected. Okay. It's a congressional problem, right? Congress needs to approve this. And she's the president of the Senate. So we can't get Congress together to go, let's just, you know what, let's just pause on some shit. That, and let's do, if you wanted to win this election, that's what you do. Pause. We're not doing any campaigning. We're going to go to work and we're going to fix this problem. We're going to get the money, resources, etc. FEMA is a government agency. You're telling me she probably has no say or sway in FEMA. It's not about what your job says you have the power to go pencil in and get done. It's about your influence to make it happen. That is all it is. Influence. Our entire government revolves around influence. Now, she came out there and proudly, and I do emphasize proudly, say that they are providing, FEMA is providing them $750 proudly said it in an interview. I'll pull up the interview. I just got to locate a different tab here. That's what she said. So when I say she needs to do her fucking job, her job is to get out there and speak for the voice of the American people. American people don't want your word salads. We don't. We don't want you to laugh it up <laughs> and tell us all of the crap that you're trying to avoid because of Donald Trump. So when I say that she needs to do her job, that's your job. You are the second most powerful person, according to the world, in our government. The, vi the president is the most powerful, and the vice president is the second most powerful. So you're telling me that you have zero influence over anything. All I know is I want a president who hears this and makes some calls and says, get them paid. Now, what the federal government did say, the Biden administration said, and Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris says it in there. Um, if I scroll down here, I'll find it. Uh, da, 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 announcing that I'm also announced the president has approved the governor's request for 100% federal reimbursement of, of local costs. Nothing outsourced, but local costs. They're going to do that. So when you hear, okay, Lyman didn't get paid. Now, did the Lyman get paid? I mean, the news story says that, that they have. There was a news story that said they were fired. Then that was redacted and come back. I'm not going to reach out to this dude who made a TikTok video mad as hell with all his buddies that they're not getting paid. I'm going to be thankful that they go out there and, and even attempt to do the work anyway, that they're even trying to rebuild it. But you have got to understand that whoever wins this election, that rebuilding these places needs to be priority one. If you want to come out here and say you are for all Americans and you represent all Americans, I think if we took a poll, the majority, the vast majority of Americans would want you to divert money to help rebuild these places. Not just Asheville, not just Florida, but Detroit, other impoverished areas. Put money back into our country. And Kamala Harris has no plan to do that. She never has had a plan to do it. She's been there this whole time. Hasn't done anything. But now she has a whole bunch of word styles to tell you what she might want to do. And so you're mad at me telling me that I'm un uneducated and I'm garbage. So just the fact that you would come out with a video and call me and everyone else garbage, which first and foremost would never have come out of your mouth if the fucking president didn't say it and then immediately go into oops mode. Never once would that have come out of your mouth. But now that it has, you want us to unite together. It's never going to happen. How could it ever happen? 
when you come out and attack me personally, calling me garbage and anyone else garbage. In my video, I didn't attack a single American outside of the person who is currently campaigning for the biggest, most important fucking job in the country, who's had the second most important job in the country. I didn't come out here and say that all Democrats are idiots. I didn't come out here and say any of that. But yet you find it necessary to personally attack me, which is fine. That's your right. It's freedom of speech. And I'm not going to stop you. If you want to have a whole ass campaign out there that just comes after me, that is your prerogative. And uh, personally, I find it to be a gigantic waste of energy to be mad at someone I don't even know for their opinion. Now, when I scroll through my newsfeed, all I see is opinions every day. And if you want to go back and watch the other video I posted in response to someone on here who was just going off on somebody, a Democrat, going off on somebody who was a lifelong Democrat who decided to change sides, I implore you to go have a listen to that video. And I want you to defend their actions. I want you to do that. Because if you're going to group me in a group with people that I don't know, and assume that I'm voting for Donald Trump, and assume that I voted for him before, and assume that that is my entire political viewpoint based off of that video, then I, I would encourage you to just to take a look inside at what you're doing. Because you're not spreading any love, you're not spreading any unity, and you're damn sure not helping out America with that kind of perspective. So. Hope that clarifies some of that. If you want to go through the Constitution and a bazillion things and rights and abilities, that's fine. You can do that. But don't sit here and tell me that that person who is out there begging for you to vote for her can't do anything to help these people. Don't tell me that because I ain't going to believe it. So apparently Vinny from the Jersey Shore was at a Trump rally the other day and people were apparently shocked and surprised that he was there and I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Particularly when it comes to certain uh, large percentage of Italians in the Northeast are following behind Trump. I want people to understand the reason that they're following behind Trump, somebody that speaks reminiscent of Schittler, is because I want you to know that Italy sided with the excess powers, okay? Italy was following behind the mustache man. They was his friend. They was on his side. That's their ancestral like history. Okay, so when they hear the words of somebody like Trump saying things like enemy from within, the blood of the nation and things like that, it's the same thing the ancestors that heard back in the day in Italy and they were like, yeah, I like that shit. Okay, it's the same thing. So they realized it was a fucking mistake and they got hit to the jib and they hung up and strung up Mussolini. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't learn your history. You don't understand why you might be drawn to certain things epigenetically. You don't understand the mistakes you made so you don't repeat the same goddamn thing, okay? Because here they are today day right following behind trump who was saying things like the law of 1798 that was erected during world war ii but they have forgotten that the italians come here that's 1798 world war ii that included you boo you was the enemy from within that's you he's talking about y'all was on the list japanese internment y'all was at the japanese internment camp they put y'all names on the list of 1798 y'all was the enemy and the reason you see the northeast like that because ellis island right there okay and their nonas and stuff got off the shit and the same thing they shame today you dirty immigrants the immigrants the same shit they used to say to their nonas back in the day throw mud in her face she the girl, all criminals and stuff like that. Get your ass back out of our goddamn country. That's the same thing you say to them. This Italian group in the Northeast. And people said Staten Island, Long Island, New Jersey. I want people to also include South Philly. South Philly um, is included in there. They give me very much, okay, just I'll just say it flat. They are the uh, white people. And it's giving very much coon, okay? They participate in coon-like behavior. You know how coons are like, all I got to do to be accepted by the white people is just talk shit about my own people. Talk shit about other people. And then I'll be like ne next to the whites, the real whites, the Anglos. It's like their coonery just spread rapidly throughout their community. And they are all like a lot of them like just like acting coonery. They're doing coonery. I don't know if the Italians, you guys have some word for coon, but that's what it gives. It gives. And I'll be honest with you, the other white who be talking shit about them. Still to this day, the Anglos be shitting on their fucking name. But they figure all I got to do so the Anglos don't throw mud in my nona and me face is talk shit about other people. That I deem less than me. And then they won't look at me and maybe they won't put me on the list but they already did they're gonna put your ass back right there again okay. i don't know your history because i asked an italian man just the other day i asked him i said do you know what village your people come from in italy what town was city he had no idea he had no fucking clue and he ain't about one or two generations from being off you know his nona was on that island island ship he was in they, they just in an immigrant it's italian group is the the newest group of immigrants into this country besides the black brown immigrant that came it's what they learned to do shit on the next group so that people won't look at you and be like you fucking dirty 
years, you know, it's okay, that's what it is. That is why I don't even bother to have disagreements, arguments with Italians that follow behind Trump and shit like that. Because you so deeply entrenched in Delulu. I don't need any answers for them. I already understand. I know their history more than they do. And historically, I understand epigenetically why they can hear a man that sound like the mustache man in their ear and be attracted to that shit. Because their ancestors also did. Back in the day, when they sided with the excess powers, they were siding with the Yahtzees, okay? Anyways, for those of you Italians that have deconstructed and know your history and know that shit, I know you're not following behind that fucking man because y'all remember what happened to y'all when y'all did that. You put y'all fucking name right on the 1798 thing that Trump was just shouting the other day on the stage. Um, while Trump is talking about enemy, okay, enemy states, the Irish is next. I want y'all to understand that Ireland don't be liking what is not real doing, okay? And they protesting against is not real, the United States. Uh, you the is y'all, that's y'all, okay? So when he deemed Ireland an enemy, you, stay, you are, okay, where y'all gonna be throwing your flags? You gonna be waving your flags at St. Patty's Day? They gonna collect y'all in the paddy wagons, right? You gonna be waving your flags at St. Patty's Day? They gonna collect y'all in the paddy wagons, right? <laughs> Okay? <laughs> This is all I got from this video. One thing I'm going to start with is that uh, some people are going to upset you or say something not nice about people, then come back to act, act like they are the victims. So I am going to dissect what he said to I mean to my to the best of my knowledge, right? Now he talked about I think his anger is like some people's anger is the fact that uh, Kamala Harris got a uh, policies for black men you actually heard him say that that the only thing he could uh, she could come up with with was a, a policy for black men black men if only they understand how jealous some people are that they actually make policies like especially for you you only will understand that uh, some people do not even want you to like you know excel or do not want to see you even uh, grow them because I remember sometime that I brought a video where they, I mean, like women were really very mad that if Kamala Harris wins, it means that their husband will start looking for jobs. It means that they will have to depend on black men to give them job because Kamala Harris got policy for black men, right? That is by the way. So why he was talking like, you know, his video was on the internet, right? And then when he pulled whatever he pulled, saying that it looks like this man got like, you know, something good for his community. He started talking about FEMA and the hurricane. Man, we are not talking about the hurricane. We are, we are already done with the hurricane issues, right? Now, this time around, we are focusing on what you talked, what you said, and the fact that you also used the B word, and now you are acting like you are the good person, and somebody is probably trying to, like, you know, I mean, put allegations or lay allegations on you. Nobody is laying allegations. He is also holding you by, holding the bull by the horn because he is tackling you based on what you said. And Joe, uh, Joe Biden was the one that said that uh, it looks like I mean, like, you know, people supporting the other person, like, are uh, all garbage. The way he also talked about uh, Hispanics and, uh, I mean, the joke that they talked about Hispanics and all that being garbage, right? So you all get your sub, too, because, I mean, you all were telling uh, Hispanics that uh, they don't know how to take jokes because that joke was, like, you know, nothing too serious. Now you heard garbage and your ears are wide open. Now this is to tell you how these people react and all that. The reality is that uh, these people can do or say anything to defend their own. I mean, Kamala Harris is been Kamala Harris up and down. These people forgot that they have presidents. I really do not understand how they think like Kamala Harris is the president. Kamala Harris is the aspirant. I don't know if you uh, she is aspiring to be the president. She is still the vice president. And the fact that some people have refused to understand that uh, there is a limit to what a vice president can do. Now, she is focusing on her campaign, not looking for, I mean, if you all think that so far that, you, that the government is not running so smooth and all that, you all have not been holding uh, President Joe Biden uh, responsible for most of the things happening, right? Not until this woman, they said that she is going to be the one to replace, like all of you all jumped out. But are you for real? Like, you know, make this make sense. Because the math ain't mathing. We actually know the reason why, reason why you all are jumping out and trying to tackle this woman. Let her be. She is not even the president yet. I mean, she is still, like, you know, run, I mean, she is running, right? Hold your president responsible for some certain things happening. Not her. 
you are like, you know, bashing her for traveling around. What is she supposed to do? Sit back in the house and campaign for herself. When also your own candidate is always out there campaigning for himself. Why is her own different? I mean, you all really make this kind of, I, I mean, they make it look hard. It is something so easy that you all can understand it and understand that this woman is not your president. And moreover, the contract you all are talking about, the federal government, I mean, the government got nothing to do with the contract. I mean, there is no even relationship between what you talked about and all that. I know your anger. Your anger is the fact that uh, black people are probably going to benefit more if she eventually becomes a president or black men will also like, you know, have upper hands according to them because you actually vented it out and then looked for a way to push it that Kamala Harris is your problem. Sincerely speaking, she is not your problem. Hold your Biden. If there is anything going wrong in U.S. assistance, hold your Biden responsible for it. I mean, enough of all this. Then you all come out on the Internet to run. And when they start holding you guys responsible for the things you say, you start acting like you are the victim. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.